Oh, why hello there, and welcome to Teaching How to Read. Today we are talking about vocabulary. Vocabulary has to do with the meaning of words. If your students are in the following scenario a lot, they may be struggling with vocabulary. Teacher, teacher, teacher! Yes, Charlie? I don't understand this book. Well, why not, Charlie? I don't know what the words mean. Oh, dear. If your students struggle with vocabulary, then do not fear, for I have some strategies that will guarantee your, your students' improvement in vocabulary. Just keep on listening. First strategy is to have students make KWL charts. That is, what I know, what I want to know, and what I learned. When children are reading, they can put words they know in the what I know column, words they don't know in the what I want to know column, and words they learn while they read in the what I learn column. Any unknown words students could look up in the dictionary. If several students have the same unknown words, you could go over these words with your entire classroom. The second strategy is to teach key vocabulary before having your class read a book. For example, if you were to read a book about fishing, you would want to teach key vocabulary beforehand, such as what is a hook, or what is a lure, or what is reeling. The third strategy is to read books aloud daily in your classroom which is also known as shared reading. Shared reading is an extremely important strategy to use. Shared reading is great for students learning in many ways. Students will learn a lot of vocabulary from listening to you read to them. You can always stop in your reading and have students identify key vocabulary words. Shared reading is also great because students can learn vocabulary from books that they would have not otherwise been able to read by themselves. The last strategy I'm going to mention is to have a tea party. Now you may be wondering, what on earth do you mean by that? Well, let me tell you. A tea party is when you write short excerpts from a story you have read or are going to read in class on note cards. Then you pass them out to the students. Give your students some time to read over their note cards and practice reading them out loud. Then put the students into groups and have them read their note cards out loud to each other. This is a great way to review or preview vocabulary from a unit. And it also gets the students interacting with each other, which is always a good thing. Now that you have learned all of these new strategies about teaching vocabulary, I hope that you have more experiences that are like this. Teacher, teacher, teacher! Yes, Charlie? I just love that book we've been reading in class. I just been learning so many vocabulary words. It's been wonderful. Well, that is very good, Charlie. I'm glad that you're learning lots of new vocabulary words. Oh, teacher, how could I not learn when I have so many different ways to learn? Look at my KWL chart. It grows longer every day, mostly on what I learn part. Meh. To find out more information about teaching reading, please refer to Tompkins Literacy in the 21st Century. It is a great source and I recommend it to everyone. Thank you for watching today. Bum ba da bum ba da ba da bum bum. Bum ba da bum ba da ba da bum bum.